I do believe so firmly and within my soul that everybody has the right to have access to our legal system. This is really the last stop for many of our clients. All of us who have a law license, we worked hard to get it. And when you retire, there's no point in just parking that somewhere in a drawer when you can use it. The need for legal services is vast. We use pro bono attorneys in a variety of ways. Primarily, they come into the office to talk with clients for intake. They also host some of our client outreach clinics and they also co-counsel with us on various litigation or other projects. I'm most interested in this homeless problem. Their clients are really grateful because they, they come here and they're really out of gas. They're not kidding. And I've got this knack. I can kind of tell you, look, if you'll do this and you'll do this, you're probably going to get a pretty good result. And when that happens, uh, both the client and I are very happy. Volunteer attorneys are really important uh, for us in our communities and it, it allows us to, to leverage expertise that a private attorney who is volunteering for us may have that we may not have. I've been um, a volunteer here at Legal Services for over four years and I recognize how serious the need is for family law attorneys to assist our litigants get through major family transitions. So I worked in state government for about uh, four years um, practicing legislative law and then when I became pregnant with my first child, um, I took a break from work and I started volunteering with Legal Services of Northern California. Um, and whether we're talking about cases or whether we're talking about, you know, someone's weekend, um, it's just a great uh, supportive environment to be in. One of the things in talking to lawyers about volunteering is how tied up they get. In my case, I come in, I work three hours on two days and I could just work uh, three hours in one day instead of six hours in a week. I work actually two Wednesdays a month and it's approximately five hours each time I come in. I'm not sure if most other places would allow such flexibility. They have great support here. You don't have to know everything, in my case, about landlord-tenant law because there's a lot of other people who do and, and I can go consult with them. The value of pro bono is immense. We can get you in right away, train you, you can be interviewing, you can be working with clients, and you can be having real life access to justice for people who are tremendously underserved. So you're preventing evictions, you're getting low income people income, you're getting someone a surgery that they need. This is real life changes for folks. It's providing hope for someone. Young lawyers really want to do things in the community. They really are very oriented to the idea of public service and uh, we find in our own law firm you know, it gives our lawyers a good deal of satisfaction. Even though I'm only an undergraduate student, Legal Services of Northern California has made it possible for me to meaningfully engage in my community. As a volunteer, I'm working on research for case litigation as well as the founding of new projects at Legal Services. Last summer, I was only doing research. I was writing memos. But this summer, I've been able to have a lot more client interaction, which is what I love. If you want to be on the front lines with your supervising attorney, if you want the research experience, you want the writing experience, you want the client interface experience, this is where you're going to get it. It's an opportunity to continue to practice your profession, um, particularly in this environment where we have a managing attorney, other staff attorneys, support staff, I have um, resources to call upon, I have educational materials made available to me. It is a collegial atmosphere. Um, you feel the energy of this organization in terms of its mission and what it does for you to feel good at the end of the day to leave this building. I want to thank you for all of the time and the energy that you provide free of charge uh, to help uh, the neediest folks in your communities. It's an incredible gift that you're giving to, to those folks. Thanks.